amazing thing to be able to do a show that uh, both groups of people that are quote-unquote enemies or friends um, are both coming to see the same show and both saying that we're telling their story. It's an amazing thing that happens. It's really to the testament of Rajiv Joseph and Moises and the cast. Uh, but it is, uh, it's, a, it's a powerful play that really speaks to um, the importance of, 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 of how how we as theater artists can tell a story that can really, both sides of the equation can really relate to. It's, I don't know how, how often that happens. How did you feel uh, getting your theater on the board yesterday? You know, I'm, I, I said this in the speech as well, I'm a big freaking theater nerd. I'm a huge theater nerd, so it was, it's a complete honor. I mean, just to be nominated for, or not nominated, to win the Theater World Award and knowing that it's a once in a lifetime thing. It was a real treat, and just being with there, with the group that was there, and like being on the same stage as like people like Billy Crudup and you know, Toba and all those people is an amazing thing. How much preparation did you have to do to do uh, Mrs. Lombardi? Uh, I actually had to do a lot because uh, I, w I was g I had to read. Uh, I wanted to read David Marinus's book when Pride Still Matter, and that was where I got most of my information. And because there was so little information on Marie, uh, except for the book, and uh, they gave me a videotape of her and they gave her me a, a, a tape of her voice, but I didn't want to listen to it because I was afraid that I was going to do a caricature or an impersonation of her. So I had to really sort of dig deep within the script and do a lot of studying from the book, and that was what really was. The, the, took a lot of time. So, did you find this a very, very fulfilling role? It's an extremely fulfilling role. She was an extraordinary woman. She wasn't one of those women who uh, a lot of people say, you know, in the 50s they sort of left and did whatever their man wanted them to do. She was a woman who was really supporting the vision of the man that she loved, and she thought he had an extraordinary vision, and she also knew that it was a very difficult life that she was going through. Did you know when you were doing this Strata Jones <laughs> that you were going to wind up on Broadway starring in the Mormon? Uh, no, no. I mean, we did. Uh, we did. Uh, it, was, it was called Given Up when I did it. We um, we did it uh, a year and a half ago in Dallas, and I loved being part of it completely. But um, no, I, the, the Book of Mormon was really on my my radar. So how did that all unfold? Well, I came back to the city after we finished, and um, uh, and really just a couple months later, I got a phone call from my agent saying they were doing some recasting, and um, would I be interested in going for it? And I did, and I had a handful of auditions, and then um, was cast. Voila. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was, it happened very quickly. So, so are you going to go and see your uh, your old show? Unfortunately, I'm not going to get to see it because I um, we our schedules are the same, and then the couple times that I have an opportunity to go, I'm not going to be able to make it. So, um, so I, I'm uh, actually. I was just texting with Patty Murin this morning, so um, I have still a lot of friends in that cast. So I and, and was thrilled to read that time for me um, the other day because it's a great. I think it's a great show. She's, it is a great show, and I gave it a great review, which excellent. is already up. And I love Patty, and I love Liz. She's amazing. And it, was, amazing. it was just terrific. But you got something better going now. Well, Good luck. thank you.